number three in the 2022 Memorial Cup presented by Keith. Back to the line, here's Luke Prokop. Throws it off for Sutch, loose in front. And to the side, they score! Simplifying in the power play, just get to the puck, to the net, and you can see Leipin there drawing attention to himself, and in late, it's Jackson Wiebe just squeegees one in and behind the pile. To get another look at this from the net cam, and boy, that squeaks in just barely, but you can hear Jackson Wiebe from up here as he celebrates, and it's usually the tell from the player that's in it. Here's the overhead. Herdeby's not able to cover that first chance up. Yep, you can see it clearly. Nice job skating into that pile, and Went way up in the air. Those who didn't see it. Here we go again. Williams with Sutch scores. End to end to end. Carter Sutch completes the play, and it's 2 0 Oil Kings. Two on one as chances at both ends of the ice. Great little fadeaway from Williams. Backhanded compliment to Carter Sutch. And it took two times on the two-on-one to convert. And now the Oil Kings up 2 nothing here. We're not five minutes in. In game one, I think Brad Lauer was all over that in his pre-scout. And they have converted. In front, they score! Ravis Anson's! St. John answered back to cut the deficit back down to just one. I think we're in for a night. <laughs> I think we're in for what a night. What makes you say that, Kevin? <laughs> Ravis Anson's had a night a couple of nights ago. Three assists in that game. He was excellent and, and was in that fashion, in tight. Five feet and out from the blue paint. He was around the action and a nice job just going to the net. A shot at right one. Back to the line. They say it's onside. Anson's for Lawrence. Delayed penalty. They score. And we're tied at two. Uh, this is going to be Josh Lawrence's goal. And again, look at the three men on the puck. And a good job holding the blue line in the counter. Three guys all within five feet of each other. And that is excellent transition. There's two and three layers around the puck. A bobbled puck seems to stay in the possession of the hands of the Sea Dogs. And they just attack downhill on Costa. There's the first save, but that's not enough to stop these guys as they're two guys off the back door again. Back it over the line, new four scores! One, two, three, the St. John Sea Dogs answer back with a trio of goals to take a 3-2 lead. Well, just watch how the Sea Dogs defend the neutral zone. It's a good job by the Old Kings third line to be in the right spot to get out of their own zone. There's the exit, but look at the back pressure, the reload to be on the defensive side of the puck, and now transition. You catch the other team in numbers, and you don't want that guy barreling down on you. Do you have 56 goals? No one scored more in the regular season. The QMJHL most valuable player over the pad under the... Chance developing. Ravis Hansen's Edmonton Oil Kings to only nine shots in that first period. Three goals, but I was more impressed with the way that they played without the puck. And here we go again for period number two. And now Sutch with speed over the line. Up the middle, Carter Sutch, the shot rattles off the post. Weeb scores! Second of the game on the power play for Jackson Weeb, and we're knotted up at three. Well, Jackson Weaver wouldn't be considered trigger man on the power play. This is a guy that's physical, defensive-minded, and found regularly on the third line. This is all Carter Sutch as he winds things right up in the defensive zone. He just takes his perpetual motion to the net, off the post, but a good job having a second layer. Jack can't get the pass across as Dalhani had been lost his stick. That was a dangerous opportunity. Here's Medicuni out of the box. So five goals in the first period, just one here in the second. It's an equalizing marker, and the Edmonton Oil Kings and St. John Sea Dogs find themselves tied at three after 40. Underway for what promises to be a very interesting third period. This has been a very interesting game to this point. Tied at three. I think I know the answer. <laughs>
Lots of research by Fran to side with Dubois. Left side across for Francis, and he chipped it just wide. Well, we are going to a place we have never gone before in the 102-year history of the Memorial Cup. We have three-on-three -three overtime coming your way next. Alex, because it prepares you to perform at a high level under stress. Three-on-three -three hockey overtime in what feels like a do-or-die for the end. Back up high for Poirier. Lawrence. Lawrence takes it high, built away. Here we go. Carter Such. No one's going to catch him. Big stop from her to these. Back across. Still for three-on-three. During that stoppage should play everybody on their feet tonight in St. John. Here comes Jackson Weed scores! Oh, it's three for Jackson Weed. He wins it in overtime. 4-3, the final for Edmonton. Well, he saved it for a night he will never forget. Jackson Weed was physical on the body. He started off with Two goals, both on the power play, and he gets his first ever hat trick as a member of the Western Hockey League in the Memorial Cup. The first ever three-on-three -three overtime, and a nice job just scanning for ice. A 200-foot play as he navigates up the ice, rips it short side, and he will remember that along with his team. We're in a do-or-die situation, dropping the first game against Schwinnigan last night, five to three. They come out with a couple of goals to start this one, and then three counterattacks from the Sea Dogs. They tie it up and win this one in overtime. Top corner. Hurtabies was excellent. Weave was better. 4 3 win and a big one in overtime for the Oil Kings. And the first ever three on three overtime at the Memorial Cup is one we may never forget, Kevin.